Hello, all my bells, and welcome back, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. Also, if you're new and you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and put, hit that subscribe button so that you can become part of the family. Yes, y'all see it. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. I have seen so much pasta on YouTube um, that I wanted some. So I went to the Olive Garden and I got me some. And you guys, I've never eaten... Um, an actual meal from the Olive Garden. I always just get the appetizer, which is the lasagna frit. But I was like, I'm gonna try some pasta today because it looked good. So I got the chicken and shrimp carbonara. I think that's what it's called, chicken and shrimp carbonara. Um, so I'm gonna try it. Hopefully it's good. Let me get y'all a bite. I can tell that they use it. And I got angel hair pasta. I think it comes with regular like spaghetti, but I got angel hair. I want a bow tie, but they, they have an option for bow tie. Y'all take a bite. It's okay, it needs something. Like, maybe some spice or something, I don't know. Oh, and I got a Coke. So like I said, I've never had a a meal from an actual meal. I always just get the appetizer, which is I always get lasagna freaks. But I was like, I'm gonna try something different today. And I love their salad. which they only gave me one olive and um, a bunch of onion. And, and pepperoni. But they sell it as the best. This pasta does not come with um, Alfredo sauce, but I asked for some extra on the side. So they gave me some. I put it on there already before the video. It needs some type of seasoning. Gotta be back. Put a little bit on there because it needs something to me. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I think they put bacon in it too. The thing didn't say nothing about my bacon. I mean, which they should specify that. Well, I probably didn't read that part, y'all. I'm probably just saying it didn't say that. It probably does. I put a lot of shrimp in here. Not as much pasta though. I still have a little pasta in the container, but um, they might put they put more shrimp than they put. I mean, which I guess is good. Olive Garden's bread. It used to be okay, but it's not all that anymore. I used to really like it. But it's not like, oh, that's the bomb. It's, not, it's all right. It used to be more buttery. Now it seems like more dry. But I think a lot of restaurants are like scaling back on a lot of stuff that they give out because I went to Mm. Where did I go? I went to some place. It was like, dang, they didn't eat no food. And they used to give you a lot. I forgot where it was. I don't remember. 
Couldn't have been Panda Express because they don't give you no food anyway. I don't remember. It was some place that I went to that it was like they used to give you a lot of food and then now they're like kind of scaling back on what they give out. And I, I know it's because of, you know, shipments. They're not really getting what they normally would get. That's why a lot of people are not um, giving out um, everything on their menu because they can't get all the ingredients that they need for it. Which is understandable. Y'all, I'm so tired of hair. And it's my own hair, but it just seems like we get everywhere. Y'all want y'all want some tomato? Hmm? Y'all can have that. That salad is so bomb. I can just eat the salad. Remember that salad I was telling y'all about the other day from Born Colsus? Olive Garden salad is kind of like theirs. But I believe theirs was a little better than Olive Garden. The dressing, it was something about the dressing. Their dressing was kind of like a, a pinkish color. You can tell that they made it themselves. I don't have much to talk about. I'm not really feeling the chicken. I like it, but I don't. I would did better with just the shrimp. I'm not really a big. I mean, I like chicken. Don't get me wrong. I like chicken. I'm not a really big chicken breast type of gal. I'm not eating those peppers either. I ain't really into those either. I do it for the ground. Now this video on them quick. All right, this is like seven minutes. Oh yeah, no. that pepper is not it. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm not feeling the peppers. Peppers. A lot of people like those things. I don't. Mm. Excuse me. Do you guys keep the containers from, um, like when you get takeout and they give you a container? Do y'all keep them? I do. The people who want stuff in your house. I keep these. Mm hmm. Let me put this, put this chicken back in here. Because I'm not going to eat this chicken. I'm full already, though. They don't give you a lot of pasta, but they did give me a lot of shrimp. Mm. Well, yeah, these containers are keepable. Keep them. So when people come to your house and they want to take something home, you give them that because they don't care about that and not coming back. I have a friend at work that I always take food to and never get my container back. That's rude. Don't be stealing people's stuff. Yeah, I'm full. That was a lot. Yeah, um, the bread don't seem the same. It used to be kind of like airy and pillowy. It don't, it don't seem the same like it used to be. It was like more buttery. Dip this in some chocolate or something. The top tastes good. That's why I'm eating the top off. It's got a little seasoning on top. Mmm. 
Y'all, this was a quick video. Very quick video. Olive Garden to me. What do you, what's your guys' favorite dish from the Olive Garden? I could do that question. It was 10 questions about quarantine. I only had a question. Stay on my phone, so I'm not going to be able to do it. I should have wrote them down. But some quarantine questions about how is it affecting your life? It's not really affecting my life. How is it affecting your children's lives? They don't go to school. They need to. You got to do homework at home, so you got to wake them up, beat them over the head with a baseball bat, tell them to get up and do their doggone homework. Don't sit on the video game all night. Y'all don't have a question, so I can't um, um, see what they are. I probably can. Hold on. <clears throat> I am back. And I'm going to do these quarantine questions. I don't know whose challenge this is. I was challenged by Miss Gorgeous Charlie. Um, and the first question is, how has work changed for you? Well, I was off of work for about three months. Um, and it, it was a choice. You could choose to. If you had kids that were not in school, they you were able to take off and they would pay you. Um, so I chose to stay off. Um, I wouldn't say three, three months. That was a lie. About a month and a half. I don't say three months. I don't think it was three months. I don't think it was that long. I, it should, if it was, I need a little more time off because I didn't feel like it. Um, number two is how has home life changed for you? It hasn't changed. Same home. I mean, I moved, but I moved downstairs for the better. It wasn't uh, because of finances or anything like that. But yeah, so um, yeah, I moved. Nothing big. Um, number three. Do you know anyone who tested positive for COVID? No, I don't. Well, yeah, no, I don't. No, I don't know anybody. I was about to lie and say, yeah, I do. No, I don't. I don't. What's your toilet paper situation? I always got toilet paper. I don't, COVID didn't stop my toilet paper game. I've always had toilet paper. I like to have toilet paper and paper towel. I don't like to run out of either one of those. And I didn't. I still have tissue to this day. I have packs and packs on top of packs of it. Um... What are your grocery stores like? Well, in the beginning, they really didn't have much. Um, but they're slowly but surely bringing stuff back. They have a limit to what you can buy. You can't buy this many of that or that many of that. So they have a limit. Like tissue, they had a limit that you could only buy one. Thank God I need in tissue. Um, but uh, yeah, they had a limit on tissue. They had a limit on water. I went to one store and a lady told me I can only buy one gallon of water. I was like, so what if I got a family of 12? What are we gonna do with a gallon of water? What are we gonna do with that? Huh? Huh? She couldn't tell me. She was just like, you can only buy one gallon. I was like, a gallon of water? It's not like I'm buying a case of water. I'm buying a gallon and I only can buy one? She said, yeah. So I was like, okay. So I left the gallons of water there and told her, you know what, I don't want them because that makes no sense. That's kind of dumb. You, I don't see what a family can do with one gallon of water. Um. What is your city like? I mean, I guess it's fine. I don't know. I'll go out there in it. I try my best to stay in the house. I mean, it's starting to get crowded now. The traffic is horrible. It didn't used to be so bad. You used to go outside and go somewhere and come right back. And the traffic wasn't so bad. Now you're sitting in traffic. Um, if you have kids, what is the situation like? Are they home? I have kids. Mines are at home. Um just doing well it's summertime now it's the summer so they're on summer summer well my son is on summer break london is in college but she's in she's just doing summer school online but um yeah there's no yeah i ain't got no kids in daycare i ain't got kids old enough they i mean young enough for daycare um, i would go crazy i'd be sitting here bald-headed if i had kids that was in daycare um and these are 10 questions y'all and like I said, I don't know whose challenge this is. I do not. I don't. Um, I'm trying to see if I can see it on there. Whose challenge it is. I don't know whose challenge. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. Y'all probably said, girl, you, you said your video was quick. It was. And now I just added some extra stuff. Where was I at? 
um, what are some of the negative things that have come from this? They open up the world too early is the negative thing. They open up the world too early and the cases are getting larger. That's the negative. The cases are getting larger. They need to close the world back up. Not saying they need to close people's jobs so people can't work, but I think they need to close the world up, make it to where these people can afford to live. If they have to, like they said, they were going to do some type of, it was just said that they would do some type of um, stimulus payment per month. I think that they need to do that because people are losing their lives. So that's the negative thing about it. People are losing their lives and you got a lot of careless folks who are not taking care of themselves. They're not wearing their gloves, they're not wearing their masks. So a lot of people, because they think that the world is open, oh, let's go to the party, let's go to the to the bar and sit down and drink a ha la la and ling ling ling. I had some people who told me that they were going to Las Vegas. And I said, well, make sure you wear your gloves and masks. And I was like, oh, when the liquor come out, the gloves and masks is gonna go. Well, you're gonna come back with the coronavirus. Yeah, I'm not going outside, y'all. I'm not ready for it. I'll go where I need to go and back home. Is extracurricular curricular activities. I don't need them. Um, what are some of the positive things that has come from this? I, I really don't know if there's any positive things that come from it. I don't know. That stimulus check wasn't positive because that wasn't enough to do anything for anybody. You pay your rent for a month, your mortgage for a month, and probably won't even pay that because rent is high here in California. Um, how has your neighborhood changed? Like I said about the city, I don't know. I don't go out there in it. I mind my own business. I stay in my house. So what the people doing outside in the neighborhood ain't my business. I don't know. I don't know. That was number 10, y'all. Um, and I'm com I'm done. This video is complete. You guys, you know, I was on the, that 40 question thing, the 40 questions. I forgot two questions. And one of them was, what do you drink in the morning? Sometimes I drink a Red Bull, it, it, it doesn't matter. Or sometimes I don't drink anything. It all depends on what I'm feeling like for the day. But if I'm going to work, sometimes I drink a Red Bull. I'll have coffee every now and again, but it's not an every morning thing for me. And then the other question was, um, how many kids do you have? I have three, 26, 19, and 17. Those are the two questions I missed. Once I went back and read them, I was like, oh, I forgot two, two questions. So those are the questions for that 40 question and answer challenge. So I'm about to go. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with every and anybody that you know. And don't forget to hit that little bell so that you will be notified of each and every time that I post a video. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah. Oh, don't forget to wash them hands.